So now that we've got the deck hull joint pretty much fixed and the boat flipped over, we can address this section right here. The top lip from the deck was broken off through this section. It was basically just stuck on with some silicon caulk. And so I've taken that all the way off. I've cleaned it up. I've added a bevel. I sanded it. I added some uh, fillet, some thickened epoxy just to smooth out the corners so everything's nice smooth transitions so that the new glass will lay down really nice on top of that. It's sanded, it's cleaned, it's prepped, it's ready to go. So you can see the, the bevel that I've added here just to just to fare that back into the rest of the material. The edges are a little a little more extreme. We'll have to address those later. I've got the extra area taped off just so I don't get too much. If I drip epoxy, I'm not going to get epoxy on the hull. I've got some plastic down over here to get make myself a little work area. I've cut some fiberglass strips that are ready to go on. I've got some tools. I've got the mixing container that came with the epoxy. These total boat mixing containers are great because they're all marked off on the side, so you can just figure out what your mix, ra mix ratio is. This is a 5 to 1 epoxy. And use the marks right there. I've got some scrapers, a paintbrush, a fin roller, obviously my gloves. And we're pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna Today I'm going to be using total boat epoxy resin. It's a standard 5 to 1 slow hardener should give me in in the room temperature today it should give me about 20 minutes of life 20 minutes of pot life so got to work quick but not too bad i've got a stopwatch set up so we'll be ready for that so i'm gonna turn some fans under the room to get some ventilation in here i get my gloves on and get going all right i am by no means an expert so rather than a beginner's guide to laying up epoxy this is going to be a beginner laying up epoxy I've measured this out up to the first mark, and then I just add in the hardener up to the other mark. A little, it's five to one, so five of the first, five of the epoxy to one of the hardener, and then start like crazy. And I should have about 20 minutes after I start before everything really starts to kick off. So I've got all my pieces of fiberglass that are pre-cut, ready to go over here. They're a little stringy, but I'll see what I can work with there. So, here we go. I want to stir this for a minute or two, mostly just to make sure it's all mixed up. There's not really much of an induction time with this epoxy. Some epoxy paints have an induction time where you need to let it sit, but this just says to stir it for a minute or two just to make sure it's all really well together. This kit normally comes with pumps that you can screw onto the bottles, and those make measuring really convenient because they're metered so that one pump of each is the perfect mix ratio. Uh, when I went to order this, they were they were out of those, uh, so the kits were actually on sale by a little bit for the cost of the cost of the pumps. Um, but I, those are really really handy, and I definitely recommend those if you're going to do something like this because it omits that whole measuring step and just makes it really easy. Also means if you only want to mix up a little bit of epoxy, you don't really have to guess. This is more than I need and more than I really wish I'd mixed up, but it was the lowest mark that was on this um, container. So I really can't mix up any less than this. All right, so that's about two minutes, so I'm about ready to go here. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush some straight epoxy onto the area that I'm treating, just to make sure it's really well wetted out and really filled in. And when you're laying up, a couple layers of epoxy like this. There are a few ways to do it. You can just lay them up onto the um, hull or whatever you're putting, them, putting it onto. 
and then work your way up that way. I'm going to lay them all up on top of each other over here and work them all together and then put them all on together at once. It does mean that I'm going to have to be a little bit careful to get enough epoxy onto that bottom layer just to make sure that it, I get a really good enough epoxy into the hull between the bottom layer and the hull itself. Where the deck hull joint is doesn't match up perfectly and there's a bit of a gap and it sticks out a little bit more where the thickened epoxy was. The thickened epoxy, there's actually quite a bit of thickened epoxy in that joint there right now. And so I'm going to put in a little bit of extra glass on the outside of this joint just to try and bring that up some so I have to use less fairing compound when I go to fair this into the rest of the hull. I'm using three layers of what I consider structure here. Um, I, I think this is six ounce of six ounce fabric. I'll go, I'll chuck into the comments if it's something other than six. And I'm using three layers that are gonna overlap the two halves of the seam. And then the two layers that are just there to bring the two, the edges up so that they'll be closer to each other. Those are just filler. They could be thickened epoxy or fairing compound later on, but by including it in this, it's gonna make my job later when I go to fair this in a little bit easier. All right, so I think that's just about ready. Ready? So now I'm just gonna peel this up and pop this all on in one fell swoop. And then the last thing we're going to put on is some release fabric. This is treated with a release agent and it's going to help keep a really nice surface finish on this. It's also useful because you can um, push up any extra resin up through this fabric and it can, can kind of help you from getting too much resin on top of your layup. The only thing I'm going to try and do, and I have no idea if this is going to work or not, is to make sure that I get really good adhesion right down to the very edge here. I'm going to try taping the release fabric to the hull just to pull that last little edge back in and get really good contact there. And this is going to help with just that last little bit. Because that last edge, there's nothing really keeping, there's not a lot of force keeping that last edge right up against the existing fiberglass. Alright, well, I think that's about as good as I'm going to do for a first attempt. So I'm going to let this tack up a little bit, cover it up so the cats don't get into it overnight, and we'll see how it ends up in the morning. All right, so I've got the first layer on there. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's, it's blended in nice and smooth. Structurally, this is probably fine. But on this outer edge, it dips down pretty severely just because of the way I laid everything up. The rest of this joint has some thickened epoxy in it and, and whatever cement they originally used to build the boat. This part didn't, so it's, it's very low here. So just to avoid having to build this up with layer with a, a large section of fairing compound, I'm going to do a second round of fiberglass, concentrating on this outer edge here, just to build it up away from the hull this way. It doesn't really need to come up higher here, but it does need to go out this way. 
So I've got, this is just, again, six ounce fiberglass. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces laid out. We'll see how it goes. And then one longer piece, just as a cover, a last layer to go over, go over everything and tie everything in a little up higher. It is a, a little low right at this very edge. So we're gonna blend that in a little bit. Um, I sanded this down, uh, I vacuumed it off, I wiped it off. So it's all set up and ready to go for another round of fiberglass. All right, so that's all done. Um, I think it was seven layers of glass with epoxy, uh, the peel ply on top of that, and then just this plastic on top of it. The, the plastic's not at all needed for the process. Um, that's purely because I'm inside the house and I have cats and they are absolutely gonna find a way to walk over this if I don't cover it up somehow. So that'll just keep all of that under cover until it's cured and I don't have to worry about cleaning epoxy resin out of the uh, cat paws. So we'll let this sit overnight and then tomorrow uh, we'll actually probably take it outside so that we can cut off the extra and start cleaning this up. So that went pretty well. I had the whole thing laid up in pretty much 10 minutes, maybe 15 by the time I kind of figured, fiddled everything around a little bit, but uh, tons of time to work with it. I didn't have to rush. Um, no, no problems with things, anything setting up on me. So pretty happy with how that turned out so far. fiberglass that I laid up actually a couple nights ago now and it's all cured so we can take all these coverings off of it now but there we are. hey Grim, Grim, Grim. the camera's right there yep where do we put this tape I'll take it okay uh, the old on <laughs> Tape. Great. We're gonna slowly peel this back here, ready? Wait, I'm not done. Daddy, there's still one more back there. Alright, you got it? Alright. Alright, here we go, you ready? You said slowly. It's still a little bit lower than the rest of the edge. Well, what do you think? What do you think, cat? Cat's cat? Meow, meow, meow. Um, I don't know if we need to add one more layer of fiberglass or if we, oh, no. we might just build it. I think we can do the rest of this with um, fairing compound. All right, so it looks pretty good. Uh, it's all cleaned down. up. So what do you think? You think the boat's ready to go outside now? No. No? Why not? Crack. I think we can. Paint. I think we can fix the cracks and stuff outside. The next thing we have to do here is cut this off, and that's going to be really mm. dusty. And I don't want to do that inside, so I think we are going to take this outside. All right, so I've got the boat back outside now. And when we lay, when I laid up this fiberglass, I just left it long. So now I've got a cut off disc. I'm just going to go go through and cut off whatever extra there is. I don't necessarily want to cut all the way up to the line right now. I'm just going to kind of get close and then I'll come back in with a sander and get better, get the last little bit because I don't want to cut in too much by accident. All right, that's pretty close. I'm just gonna touch it just a little bit with the sander, just make sure there aren't any sharp edges because I'm not gonna finish this right away. All right, I'll do a much more careful job of that 
when I actually fare this in. It's actually a little bit long now, but that's that's perfect for my needs right now. I just wanted to take any sharp edges off so when we move the boat around, we don't hurt ourselves. This still has to be fared, uh, sanded, and then fared uh, pretty extensively, but we're not gonna have time to do that right away. And actually, well, I, I may try and take the boat sailing before then. Um, and because it is outside and epoxy is sensitive to UV over time, it'll, it'll get brittle and turn yellow. I'm just gonna paint this over with some really cheap just spray paint. It's just regular spray paint. That's gonna sand off pretty easily when I go to work on it again, but in the meantime, it'll keep it protected from the sunlight. If I was actually gonna be careful about this, I'd wanna sand it down and prime it and everything, but I'm just, this is just something to be, to stand between this epoxy and the sunlight. So there we go. That's the beginnings of that repair. There's still a ways to go on it, but now it's it's structurally, structurally secure and it's ready for eventual sanding and fairing. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel. Thanks.